Hello and welcome back. This is the most exciting uh, video. I've been meaning to ma make this video for a uh, good portion of uh, this week. And uh, <clears throat> every time I thought that, uh, hey, let's do this, there was another step that I say I need to clarify that step. So, you know, just back and forth. But finally, we are at a point where we can go and actually control our AWS Management Console from our one of our EC2, I, I, any one of them. Because you're basically just logging through that EC2 into your AWS Management Console. So it's the other way around. <coughs> Excuse me. So normally we log in here in our Management Console and uh, whatever we need to configure or launch or create we do it from here be it a route 53 s3 bucket ec2 vpc lambda light cell anything so the other way of doing it is that so just like that you can go to ec2 uh, that basically just to one of your virtual machine or you have created it um, made it into a web server by the way that is next to we're gonna create uh, we're gonna upgrade one of our ec2 into a web server <clears throat> So uh, we can log into EC2 using uh, the credentials that is uh, uh, in IAM right here. We, we will use one of that username just like we use a username to log into our console. We will use those credentials to log into uh, from the EC2. We will use those credentials to log into AWS Management Console and we can <clears throat> provision or create anything. Excuse me. So uh, let's get started. All first thing first, we have to launch an EC2 instance. It's really up to you. You wanna uh, the easiest one is always to go to running instance and then click on the instance name notification. But new, okay. All right, no worries. Uh, you can. What happened? Uh, I just went like. Uh, <clears throat> Where am I? Oh, connect right here. Okay, for uh, just within like five minutes, this changed. It's a, it, it it now looks a lot like uh, um, the like the this interface looks a lot like uh, the interface on uh, a Mac <clears throat> in Safari. Uh, so that maybe that's why that uh, popped up the. So connect, you can, oh, everything is session manager, easy to instance connect. Yeah, so, okay, this one is a little bit changed now. <clears throat> it just changed, by the way. Um, just five minutes ago, I logged into it, and it was there. Okay, so now actually you, uh, it's connecting to um, like a smaller window, and it's good, actually. I can show you side by side. I sh um, otherwise, I was thinking to go into putty and you know so i can show you side by side comparison i'm gonna use it this one now um so now i'm logged into my ec2 i still have to log into my aws management console and to prove i'm gonna type the command that actually creates the bucket and uh, it should give me an error because the reason being is that we have to actually uh, get our data the credentials data from within this file now i forgot if it's uh, the right one is it uh, through the uh, let's let's see so to manage your uh, uh, aws you are at a linux terminal command right <coughs> so whatever you will give the command it will actually execute on the machine so by telling this machine that no actually i'm giving you the commands that you should pass on to AWS. We will write AWS at the start. Next, we will tell it what in AWS, what service we want to do. So if it, if it were AC2, we will write AC2. In my case, I want to make, create a bucket, so I'm gonna tell it S3. So next, I'm gonna tell it what I want to do. Am I creating a bucket? I'm deleting a bucket, I'm copying something. So I'm gonna, sorry, M b make bucket <clears throat> next i'm gonna tell her where so for where i'm telling it to go and create a bucket at uh, this s3 location and i'm gonna give it a name so if 
Uh, let's say Aslan Iman. One, two, three. Let's see. See what happened. It says make bucket failed. Unable unable to locate credentials. Uh, unable to locate credentials. This line is important. I will try to keep it in mind, and I will show you where are the credentials stored in uh, in that EC2, where it goes, uh, and try to see, fetch them, and using those credentials, it tries to connect to uh, AWS, and when it fails, it puts this message on. So <clears throat> I have to now. I have to give it credentials so for that i'm gonna say a aws now the machine knows that i'm giving it the command for aws and i'm gonna write configure now it's asking me what's the access key id so if we go to our uh there it is i am oh, i should so it in the uh, left side is the recently visited but IEAM is under identity and management right here so let's uh, close it you go to users and you see, you see this is the user and uh, let me show you something here that uh, you should know <clears throat> if you go to security credentials it has a key access key ID and it has uh, oh we have to get that uh, so this is my access key ID for this user and for the other portion that uh, it, it's gonna tell let, let's see <clears throat> the secret access key you don't see it over here that is going to be in this file and if we open it it's opening you can see that's a uh, access key and ex ex secret access key so this top line i believe was the xx and this portion right here is the uh, secret access key by the way uh, this is the first time that i'm uh, logging into ec2 uh, so it's a truly um, trial and error video so we have to copy this you're gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it here and enter default region name so what's the default region name you can press enter and it will it will choose it for you and uh, otherwise you can tell it the default region that will you can choose anyone US e, US hyphen east one US hyphen east two I'm, I'm in the Midwest so I'm gonna try US West one let's do that US hyphen West one oh so enter output format I'm, i don't care i press enter now it has the credentials <clears throat> so if i if i were to uh, run this command i should not get this error message but before let's talk about creating access keys <clears throat> it is very important that uh, if you expose yourself like i have just exposed my id and the secret access key you go and delete them because if you you watching this video and you go into <clears throat> uh, this easy to instance and you type it in you will have full control of my aws you will and if anybody that has the you know the knowledge of how to create and you know uh, launch <clears throat> provision he can run up really my bill and so make sure that whenever you are exposing these things for educational purpose you go and delete them that's what i'm gonna do at the end of this video by the deleting it is simple you first make it inactive then you delete it for once it's inactive you go and uh, click this x it will turn red and you will delete it and <clears throat> for the next time you want to come and have this user uh, for example I, if I show you back uh, I, we go the this user name is Aslan now if we go back to users and I click on Imran you can see there is no access key so I can create it so just like once you have deleted you can come back and create a new access key this is very important now let's get back to our uh, S3 bucket 
first I am gonna show you my S3 let's go to S3 <coughs> S3 is right here as under storage <coughs> So you can see I have I don't have the bucket name that I'm trying to create that is this one right here. So let's put that uh, I just uh, press the upper arrow key and Linux uh, terminal it uh, saves all of your command that you entered. I'm gonna press enter execute it and this time I don't have that error message it says actually make bucket now ideally if since I'm, I'm pretty sure that it it worked i'm going to refresh it and this name right here is going to appear as a bucket here i'm going to refresh it and there i have the bucket so i made this bucket from within this uh, terminal and in, in from my ec2 and it's in here i hate this video is becoming lo uh, longer and longer uh, but uh, this one is necessary next i'm gonna you know the ls command uh, let me click here so ls list uh, all the directories is just uh, like the you write dir on cm uh, on command prompt so if i press ls nothing because there is nothing in here but if i type aws s3 ls look what happened it's giving me both names here so I told it to go fetch the uh, list directory, uh, directory listing from the S3 in my AWS. <clears throat> so let's go and create a file. To on Linux, uh, creating a file is um, uh, you can do it different ways, but the two I like is Echo or Nano. Nano is the text editor. You can actually open and create a fi file like a little notepad type of thing. Echo is just a plain uh, <coughs> st uh, string or command. You type it right here and you, you, you can create the file. So let me show you Echo. So let's see. Mm. I am Imran and you want to tell it what the file name is you specify this uh, within the quotes what's the text going to be and this tells it to actually transfer this text into this file and the file name is going to be imran.txt and you press enter <coughs> on linux terminal uh, uh, if you don't get an error it means it executed so if i were to go and ls now i have this file now this file is actually is on my ec2 it's in my virtual machine it's not on my aws so if i were to go here and show you you can see no files if i go back and click on here you can see no imran.txt file let's go back and i'm gonna actually copy this file from uh, my ec2 virtual machine into my s3 bucket and let's do that so I'm telling it AWS uh, this command is for AWS for in within a AWS it's this command is for s3 CP means copy we're gonna copy Imran dot TX TXT so up to this point this uh, EC2 will search for uh, this file name within this directory and we know it's already in there so if it was if it were in a different directory we will have to put the path full path here so next where are we copying it s3 and slan imran123 press enter and it said upload i got this so if i go and click over here it should show me that file that file appeared all right so i had to refresh it <coughs> excuse me now let's see uh, where is those credentials like this credentials uh, are why it said this error message I just want to wrap this video quickly I don't like longer videos uh, uh, so uh, th this is very important uh, why it said gave this error message and why afterwards uh, it hasn't 
and uh, what happens if I close this instance go back to my day-to-day um, -day work and somebody else logs in they start uh, typing commands and it will execute right the reason is that let's go to um, So I'm cd dot aws. Okay, yep. So right there, I was uh, thinking to myself. Why it's... All right, sorry about that. Uh, let's go. So uh, the aws folder, it's a hidden folder. That's why it was not showing up here. But I was able to get into it. Uh, only the people who know would know about this folder. They will know what. The, this folder is about and that is why I am telling you uh, wh why it is important if you put LS here uh, credentials rings a bell credentials and credentials so basically what happened is because it was an EC2 that uh, credentials were never used before what happened was that it saved the credential it, it looked here and when it found no credentials in there it gave me that error message so to uh, uh, let's see cat works or not yes cat worked so cat is a command basically that inputs uh, outputs the contents of a file <clears throat> there the other file uh, the other command would be to use echo i can show you that as well in this quickly so but uh, quickly check this this is the key ID I use it's right here and this is the secret access key right there so from now on it's saved on this machine anybody logs into this machine from here they have seen how to connect they will be able to <clears throat> the only if the if somehow somebody ha uh, either hacks this machine or has my uh, secret uh, public uh, private key somehow they have access to my private key let me show you nano and then I will show uh, I will teach you how to, you know, make sure that nobody has it. As uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to show you how to uh, get rid of this. So nano is basically nano credentials. You see, this is like uh, the screen change to like a text editor. Now, either uh, let's see if I can change this data. Nope. Uh, get write out read file where is replace cut text uncut go to line ah right there that one so <clears throat> either i can remove it from here within the text editor yeah and save it that is one way and for exit i will press control x it's asking me I will press Y and press enter now I'm back to a uh, uh, the terminal command prompt if I press uh, uh, cat credentials <clears throat> there is nothing saved here no more the other way would be uh, you press uh, you type aws configure again and enter some bogus information <clears throat> now uh, you see there is none here there's nothing here if i were to go and run that very first command again <clears throat> this one it will give me the exact same error run no that was S3 yeah either it's gonna con config credentials it's asking me to go and config credentials if I were to go and aid configure and I put <clears throat> now I run the command 
uh, oh no mm, this one it's gonna give me the error an error occurred right so that's how you remedy that situation but for uh, <clears throat> my purpose i've shown you how to do it i'm gonna show uh sh let's uh, show you how to get rid of those credentials so nobody else can type them in and <clears throat> do any damage users aslan all i have to do is uh security credentials you see the access id key i will say click on deactivate it's been deactivated and now I'm gonna for deletion just copy and paste it copy paste and delete and it's gone so even if somebody types it in they will not be able to uh, get uh, into my uh, <coughs> AWS or EC, uh, AWS basically I can show you by just uh, <clears throat> AWS config secret access key let's copy this access key again <clears throat> type in here and if I go in AWS has 3 LS does not match a sported format so basically that did not work now it errored out <clears throat> so this is it for uh, this video really really long video i hate it but uh, there was no other way uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one